Okay, we went to uh, Paris. This was the exciting trip this month, or one of the trips. We took the Eurorail train um, from St. Pancras Station. Here we are, first stop in Paris. The I think it's the Love Lock Bridge. Uh, people put padlocks, uh, dead, and they write on them the names of their sweethearts. This might be the Louvre, or, how, or however you pronounce it. Uh, the Louvre, I think everybody calls it, and there's the pyramid in the middle of it. We did not go into this museum. Um, I think it's the most visited museum in the world. We spared our children that. <laughs> um, so the first day, my wife had to work, uh, Inez had to work, and so I just took the kids and we just ventured out. And we walked east um, along the river. And here we got our first taste of Parisian food. Of course, it was crepes with burr, e sucre, butter, and sugar, and they were unbelievable. Um, they were the best we had all week, unfortunately. So the first day was pretty nice. Uh, it did get a little rainy later on, as you'll see. We jumped on a bus tour, one of those hop-on, hop-off bus tours, and there's Notre Dame. I took these pictures from the top of the bus. It's a pretty big destination there uh, in Paris. We actually, um, now a lot of these buildings, I'm not going to remember what they are. <laughs> we saw so many buildings, they all start to uh, run together. Well, you know what that is, of course, the Eiffel Tower or the Tower Eiffel. In the distance there is the Arc de Triomphe. This is the Grand Palais, I believe. There was a Petit Palais and a Grand Palais. Uh, right next to each other, and we were actually staying right next to the Petit Palais, I think. Uh, this Arc de Triomphe was pretty cool. You had to go underground to come up uh, underneath it. Uh, there's a big uh, traffic rotary around it. Uh, as you saw in that first picture there, it looked like it was getting renovated at the top. This is the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier there, dedicated to... Um, I guess the people that died in World War One. Okay, so this is on the Champs Elysees. Or again, I'm gonna have trouble pronouncing these. This is this main drag here in Paris. It's a very wide uh, boulevard. It's got a lot of the high-end fashion stores on it. Louis Vuitton. You saw Cartier. Uh, this I can't remember what this is off the top of my head. Uh, that might be the. Um, Hospital for the Veterans, uh, the Invalids, I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, and here's towards the end of our bus tour. We did come back to the Eiffel Tower. And that's the Trocadero, I believe. We'll hit that at the end, too. Uh, very long waits to go up the elevators in the Eiffel Tower. Uh, so we just walked by it the first time and um, didn't think about going up. Now this is uh, the Alexander Bridge in the Grand Palais. Uh, this is the most ornate bridge they have there. There are many bridges crossing the Seine uh, River. I believe this Magdalene was a, at one time a Catholic church. I'm not sure. Uh, some music, National Music Academy. And the art was everywhere, of course. Um, oftentimes the buildings are more beautiful than uh, the art inside. Uh, our hotel was not far from the Louvre, right on the river, basically. Uh, and there's this garden in between us and the Louvre. We did a lot of research. You might have saw John there with some Paris books. and Well, my wife did a lot of research. Um, we were constantly going through these, uh, one was a family guide to Paris, another was, I think, uh, a kid's guide to Paris, or best things for kids in Paris, I'm not sure. Uh, Paris isn't really that good for kids. It's not Orlando by any stretch, and uh, some of the things they recommended as being good for kids were uh, a bit of a stretch. <laughs> in fact, we didn't see many children anywhere in Paris. It, it, was, it was actually pretty shocking. We would go almost all day without seeing a, a child anywhere. Uh, there were a lot of bikes, a lot of motorbikes, uh, but oh, look, these bikes had um, 
two wheels on the front and one wheel on the back. I'd never seen that before. Here we are. I think this is the second day we're at an, another museum uh, called um, Carnivalet. I believe it's supposed to be like a history of Paris museum, um, but it, it wasn't quite as good as the history of, there I am taking a selfie, taking, um, it wasn't as quite as good as like the City of London Museum. Um, but it wasn't bad. The kids get the audio tours, and I think that really helps. It engages them. They, they get to hear the objects described with that foreign accent. Um, I, I pretty much think you have to do these audio tours when you go to these museums now. Um, now, this is called the center. I think it's Pompidou. It's one of these places that's, you know, for kids. Uh, we ran by there. Now, this is a playground. That is actually a playground. <laughs> you, I know you miss it. Three little apparatuses. Um, I'll get back to that. This is uh, Versailles. Um, on Saturday, we took a bus out there. Um, I think it was 48 euros each for the adults. Uh, it's a half-day tour, and about 12 miles uh, west of the city. Um, this is this gold facade. I'm not sure if it's real gold. I think it might be. Uh, that the Versailles is famous for. Um, inside was spectacular. There were a ton of people there. Uh, long lines, uh, lots of pushing, <laughs> lots of cameras, uh, but it was nice and I'm enjoying the pictures, uh, seeing them on my computer probably more than in person because I, you know, I was so hurried in there. Um, it's pretty decadent of course. Uh, it's almost disgusting how much money the uh, kings threw it into uh, glorifying themselves and where they lived. Some people recommend uh, a whole day at Versailles. I do not think it warrants a whole day. I mean, if you're really into art and you're going to pour over um, these pictures, then yeah, you could spend a whole day there. Um, supposedly, you're supposed to spend a lot of time out in the gardens, which is where we're getting to now with these pictures. But um, I don't... Um, we didn't think the gardens were that spectacular. They're big, but they're not very elaborate. It's not a lot of uh, flowers or... I mean, you can see what it is. Uh, it was supposed to rain, too, so it's another reason we didn't do a full day there. Um, now, this is funny. This is the highly advertised uh, sh water show. I mean, really, they just turned on the, the hose and they plugged in an mp3 player that had some classical music and uh, they called that a show and <laughs> it wasn't really a show at all uh, as far as i'm concerned uh, but we were about we had about 15 minutes to get back to the bus and we're making our way back um, right now uh, but yeah it's definitely something you have to do you have to go to versailles you, you just don't have to uh, i don't think it warrants a full day unless you're an aficionado. So we got back to Paris and we walked northeast to the Louvre and we got um, there's some French onion soup. We went into a, you know, a restaurant that grabbed us and sat down and uh, had a great, great lunch, great service. Um, everywhere we went had great service. Uh, very friendly people. Uh, all the, for all the reputation of France being uh, rude to Americans. We didn't see it in the slightest. Now this is Sacre Coeur. This is, that means uh, Sacred Heart. This is a big Catholic church high up on a hill. I think it's the highest point in the city. And uh, we took a cab up there and we walked up. Um, and it was spectacular. You could see uh, a long ways. And uh, it's a pretty big destination. Uh, people are just funneling up there. You had to go through a very bad neighborhood to get th there, and I'm glad we took a cab there. And there were even a bunch of, um, you know, hustlers hassling uh, the tourists there, too. Um, but I'm glad we went. And this is this funicular uh, that you could take to the top. Um, we were the only ones in line because uh, it cost 10 bucks for the family, and it only went about 100 feet. <laughs> All right, now here we are um, heading back. Uh, I think we walked all the way back um, that day. It was a long day. We did Versailles. We did Center Pompidou again. And then we did Sacre Coeur. Uh, I think we went back to the hotel um, to rest up. And then we went out again. Now here we are. We're out on our way again, I believe, 
to get dinner in, in the Latin Quarter. Now, there's one of these river boats, and everyone recommended that we do a river boat. Um, we didn't do it. We kind of did the um, hop on, hop off bus tour instead that gave us the lay of the land. Um, and I, didn't, I thought it might have been redundant to do a river boat. Now, here we are going to um, the Musee, Museum d'Orsay. I can't even pronounce it. Uh, I don't have any pictures of what's inside, but what was inside was Monet, uh, Picasso, uh, Degas, um, who else was there? It was all the Impressionists, um, very famous stuff. Um, after that, my wife really wanted to go to that one. The kids were at their art limit. After that, you know, we walked towards the Latin Quarter to this um, Luxembourg Garden, uh, which supposedly had a playground. Um, and actually did have one, as opposed to the other ones. So here's the playground. It cost two and a half euros per kid to go in. And parents had to pay, too. So we waited outside. Only the helicopter parents uh, went in, which was kind of funny, because you could really tell who the uh, helicopter parents were. Um, I took a few pictures of some brioche rolls. Um, we can get that stuff in London. We live in the French ghetto here in London, so I didn't need to uh, eat too much of that. When we were in Paris, um, the uh, the Latin Quarter was awesome. I mean, there, especially at night, but there are so many cool restaurants. Um, one looked more appetizing than the next. A lot of outdoor eating. Um, so I, we're making our way here back to Notre Dame on foot or Notre Dame on foot, and um, you know, my wife definitely wanted to see this, and. Uh, we didn't go in t to Notre Dame. We figured we could just walk around it. And there's some crazy looking demons coming off the church too. I don't know what to make of those. But we wanted to go to the two little islands. And here we are on one of the islands right in the middle of the Seine. <laughs> and we went there for ice cream. This Berthelon ice cream was just insane. Um, and it's very popular there. Except in August when the best ice cream shop in... Paris curiously closes down for the whole month. <laughs> it's kind of ridiculous. You'd think if there's one month you should be open if you're an ice cream uh, store, you'd be open in August, but they're not. <laughs> and that's France <laughs> for you. I'm not sure what that building is there. Um, here's the lock bridge again. My kids really wanted to put a padlock on there, but it cost about five or eight euros and I didn't let him. So I think we're back at the Louvre again. Yes, and there's the obelisk that stands midway between the Louvre and Arc de Triomphe. The Alexander Bridge. Um, I don't know how they got those trees to look like that. I wonder if they, uh, if they trimmed them to make them rectangular like that. Yeah, that's actually the bus that we went on. They come every 10 minutes. It's hop on, hop off. They have them in every city, I think, now in the world, even places like Philadelphia. Okay, now that's the Eiffel Tower. Um, we got up to the, I guess, two-thirds of the way up, three-quarters of the way up. Um, and that was a picture of me pointing the camera all the way to the top. These are the views that we enjoyed. I don't know what that city is in the distance. It looks like... Um, all the skyscrapers are outside of Paris. Uh, so we basically visited old Paris uh, while there's actually a new Paris, too, that exists. It was nice. This was our last day there, I think, or our second to last day. And we walked up the, the tower because there was no line. I think it's, it lets up on Mondays uh, as opposed to the weekend. Um, but the elevator line, forget it. But people are lazy. They should really just walk up. It's not that big of a deal at all. Um, you got to be really lazy to be afraid of that walk as far as I'm concerned. Probably only took about 12 minutes to get to the second observation deck. Um, you can actually see Sacre Coeur there in the back left. Uh, I think this might be our last shot on the uh, Eiffel Tower. Oh yeah, the French Open started the other day, so this is their advertising for it. Um, that's a tennis tournament, in case you didn't know. 
All right, we're wrapping this up. Um, I'm going to have more video footage too. Um, yeah, I think this is the end here. Um, I'm going to have more video footage, um, not pictures, but video in the second one. So you definitely want to check that out and um, head on over to Paris if, <laughs> if you can.